Welcome back tubers, so I've been asked to do a bit of an update on the kit that I've got and how it's been running in the last year. I thought I'd start with the chargers that I've got, the green ones. Now, how have they been running over the last year? What's my thoughts? Would I buy them again? What would I do? And also, hopefully this will help any of you guys thinking about buying one of these. As Also, um, would you use it with a power wall? So let's just have jump straight into it and have a quick look. So, with these units here, the main reason I got them was the price. I needed to connect it up to my power wall and to be able to charge the power wall using the solar panels. I started off with one of them, I obviously got another two to make three. And how have they been running? Well the answer to that is really well. Connected them up, got them working, we've got a nice LCD screen, it's nice and clear and easy to read. Fantastic little product for what you get. For 30 bucks or whatever they cost, it's absolutely fantastic. You have to excuse the rain on the roof, hopefully you can still hear me. Now, the question is, is that would I buy them again to charge the power wall? Well, the quick answer to that, after a year, I would say no. They're fantastic in the summertime or when the sun's out consistently, but when there's lots of shading in the winter time where you've got the, the clouds over a lot or if it's raining, these things produce very little power. They don't really do a good job. A much more expensive unit will be far better. So, in the winter, in the summertime, these are fantastic. They'll work really well. In the winter time, not so much. So, if I was going to recommend them, I'd rec recommend them for, say, charging an e-bike battery or charging a battery that you use once a week or every few days. They'll charge it up. They'll do a good job. But if you're trying to rely on these things to charge your power wall, for example, or a large bank, of, a large battery storage bank, then and you kind of rely on it on almost like a daily basis then I wouldn't really recommend them. For the price, however, um, for what you get for the money, fantastic. If you were to try and replace this with the same situation with your trying to charge whatever battery voltage, you, you need to spend a heck of a lot more money, more like 20 times as much as these things cost. The product that you'd probably want um, that would suit for what I'm doing with around 80 volts of battery power, you kind of want the uh, Midnight Classic 200, which caters for that. So. For the price, they're fantastic for what you money for value. However, um, they don't do a really good job in the winter, and it's been winter time. It's raining now, and it hasn't been it hasn't been that flash. And the, when, when the sun comes out, they're good. When the sun doesn't come out, or if it's cloudy at times, it's, they just don't do a good job. I've done as many mods as I can to them, and yeah, is it worth doing the mods? Oh, maybe, um, but they're a good product for what they are. If you try and use them for what I'm doing. There's better, there's much better things out there. So, once again, I would use these to charge an e-bike battery that you don't need on a daily basis, on a free daily or four daily basis or a weekly basis. They'll charge it up, they'll do a good job, it's easy to set the settings, it's easy, it's it's simple to, to use. Connect it up to a 200 watt solar panel and away you go. Um, fantastic for that type of thing, 35 bucks, thumbs up really. Um, charging the power wall, yeah, not so much. Um, they just, they're not grunty enough. They don't, they're not consistent enough. Um, and for those reasons, I wouldn't recommend it for a power wall. The reason I'm using it for my power wall is because I needed the voltage. I've got 80 volts on my power wall roughly. So I needed a boost converter to be able to boost the solar voltage, which is two solar panels, in, um, which is around 60 volts up to the 80 volts. So majority of the time, however, um, in bigger installs, you would have your solar panels coming in at say 120 volts or whatever it is, it steps it down, you use a, a buck converter, it'll step it down to the 80 volts or the, the 48 volts or whatever you've, whatever you've got. So these are only good for charging uh, or if you're boosting up for example or you're charging a battery voltage that's higher than the 48 volts. So e-bike batteries is the first thing that kind of comes to mind. So would I recommend them? Yes, would I recommend them for um, for long time use for charging 10 kilowatts plus no so hopefully well apart from that really they've been fantastic they've done their job they've worked really well i've only had to replace one fan so for 30 bucks that's pretty damn good i've got about they sit at around 450 watts to almost 500 watts in the summertime um, each of the units so they can handle a couple of solar panels on them um, they do a good job in that respect just if the cloud comes over or if it's a crappy day then they don't perform on the on the worst days where you, you, you know, it's cl it's cloudy you'd expect to get at least 100 watts coming in but the kind of they just don't cope with the the low kind of voltage and the, it just doesn't work very well so hope that's a bit of an update 
I'll do an update on the rest of the kit and um, so yeah recommend these for small kind of battery uses and charging e-bike batteries I wouldn't recommend them for power walls um, but it is working it's still working after a year it hasn't failed no blue smoke so thumbs up to the suppliers for that or the manufacturers for that hope you guys enjoyed the video thumbs up if you like it see you guys in the next video thanks again